hello and welcome uh, this is the what we have seen the data setups and we have done all these setups now it's time to test the label printing rules and all of these that we did let's go to the next screen there's the testing and these are the test steps i'm going to create uh, this test step one by one uh, first uh, we have to have a po which uh, i will receive and while receiving the po we will generate the lpn and during the LPN generation time, we will go and check whether the labels are created or not in the label history window. And then we can also check whether the rules are triggered right or not. So with that, I think let's uh, let's start with that. So in the previous, uh, we, uh, we have set up the rule, but we did not run the generate rule program. So I'm going to go and view request and generate the generate the rule. This is always required whenever you create a new rule so make sure you do that so i just forgot last time so i'm doing it right now i'll just wait for this to complete okay while it's running let's start with the step number one the step number one is let's get a po done make sure this po will have a standard receipt uh, uh, as a as a route and then it will have fg1 and let's say fg2 or any other item two item because a rule is create, created for fg1 so um, go ahead and uh, go to the purchasing application and uh, quickly we can or i can go to order management and we, you can access purchasing menus from there as well so i'm launching the standard po now to so go to purchasing menus go to purchase order go to purchase order screen this uh, is the standard po screen which will come up and uh, we'll put some supplier code here 3m supplier generally i use i have a warehouse which is bw1 now it's called it's the location actually so i'm gonna put the bangalore warehouse location and go to the down arrow key go ahead and put your item fg1 let's get this uh, let's put 10 quantity unit price is one put today's date and put another one which is fg2 which will have 20 quantity one unit and same date so and then uh, make sure that routings are correctly designed go to the shipment tab receiving control this is direct delivery put them as standard receipt save it come out of this do the same thing for second line so while saving you're getting a PO number um, this is uh, second line shipment receive control uh, I'll put a standard here as well you can write have a right defaulting so that you don't need to do manually this is I'm doing manually here so this PO is ready I'm going to save and click for approval so 6049 is the PO number so I'm gonna update my test case here so kind of I'm gonna make sure these are small and then six zero six zero four nine all right so I hope this PO is approved <coughs> excuse me so it's just taking some time and I can now launch uh, go to this uh, this is my telnet application this MSCA I logged in as an operations welcome uh, although it doesn't really matter which login because uh, inbound process that advanced task frameworks are not supported so it will be neutral to any login ID so go ahead inbound receive PO I put my or code uh, sorry it should be in the caps lock uh, so let's check oh it's it takes so good so 6049 is the number I'm going to put the line number first line go to FG1 this is the LPN control G so this control G or the typing of this on this field is actually trigger the LPN generation pr business process and as a part of this we should get a label generated so let's go ahead and verify I can just complete this step as well uh, push this to complete the quantity this LPN is 100 and uh, yeah, let's do the next item because I have to receive the second item as well. So I hit the next item. Oh, I put 100 quantity, whereas I should just put 10. 
yeah the tolerance exceeded so it's saying uh, enable and continue yes or no continue yes uh, no go to one more time six zero four nine uh, line number uh, one uh, cool. Okay, I'm gonna ge generate another process, uh, another LPN 80. Sorry for that because I just typed in. I should have typed 20 and then hit the done button or next button, whichever you like. So let's say I'm gonna just do done. So it will generate the receipts. I'm gonna bypass everything and click the done button. So the receipts parts are created. You have not yet delivered that, but the process of LPN generation is done. So that business process will trigger the, the uh, label. So let's go ahead and search for the label. Labels, I have to log in to WMS responsibility. So I go to warehouse manager and then here uh, you will find uh, in the setup probably sometimes find it difficult uh, for that uh, function which is called label history um, let's quickly see if I can get it otherwise I have to do control L to find that particular thing and I doubt I will get it by this way but let's see um, so okay let's just uh, skip this then I can do control L to find somewhere here I think I don't know it's memory is not that strong so the control L and here you can see label history control F you get label history go to the label history and uh, today's date right 27th is the date so you can find today's uh, date uh, all the label request let's see if we see your uh, few of two should be there all right so we got the screen here uh, this was the the first one uh, during the LPN generation okay so let's see this particular label you see the job LBL is coming as a prefix and this prefix is set in the profile option and we talked about those profile option you see this uh, this is a label file prefix and this is only when it's uh, asynchronous mode so the label mode is set as asynchronous and the directory that we have set uh, that directory f uh, information also you can see if I scroll right I'll see this where the file is generated so um, so this really helps us uh, based on the profile option you'll get this XML file now when I see both of them warning but fine Let's say let's understand how this uh, L, uh, XML file look like. So it has this uh, variable name which we have designed inside the LPN, and then those all of these variable. Th this is the value of the variable. This is just the name. Nothing is assigned, and that's why I think it's gone in error. I uh, have to find out why that happened, but. Uh, so it, it's picked the printer name that we have set it has taken the quantity and in case um, you want to print it again because it has not uh, it is damaged or something then you have you can select your printer manually and you can print the number of copies and you can click this re reprint button so this will take you to the reprint let's take the one which is successful so there is another label type called material which is mapped to the process of receipt so because we did a pure receipt process so material label which is successfully generated so we can see some information here so it has taken the product to see the item has gone as an FG1 and uh, you have the lot organizations taken BW1 that's a variable value uh, quantity was 10 sub in subtype we haven't yet selected so it's not there so and um is each so this is the complete information that's uh, that's there as a as a file you can see this xml file lbl 1482 and then at this batch mode file is generated and this xml is currently residing in this directory so we have to have a next program if you're asynchronous uh, linking between oracle apps and the printer then we have to have an ftp or 
kind of shell script which will move this file from this particular directory to a printing directory and that directory being watched by the hardware which is nothing but a printer hardware and software combination they'll watch that directory any incoming file they'll process it and then move that file from the printer active directory to an archive directory and that that's all job is the printer side so they'll take care of it so we just need to know where we have to push this file from this location and of course we have to set the read and write access so that we can write that particular this move this file in a specific folder of which is recognized by printer so those those are the technicalities that are involved and uh, most of them it will have uh, the technical involvement as well um, in this case uh, it's generated yeah so LPN 80A is you can see a lot of these additional information you can you can capture uh, from this screen. Uh, this has failed. Uh, that's why it did not give uh, some some error message. That's why it did not give the right thing. Otherwise, it, sh it should have those uh, LPN details and all that. So fine. I think from demo perspective, this is okay. We have this is the one successful one. And you can also further analyze the rule-based format selection if you like, if you have multiple formats, so then system will work as per that. So fine, I think this concludes the, the label printing. Just to summarize, these were the steps involved and we did a test to see whether this generation is working as per the setup or not. So thank you very much for watching this um, barcode uh, and label printing solution from Oracle WMS. Thank you very much.